Kinsley was in the sixth grade when her parents split up. At the time, she didn't understand the meaning of splitting up, but she knew that it wasn't good because her mom and dad wouldn't be living together anymore. Kinsley was distraught at this idea, but she tried to cope with it. There was a year that her parents were still married but not living together, and when that year was up, the day that she knew would come had arrived. Her parents were getting a divorce. In America today, two out of every five kids, 18 years and younger, will live through the divorce of their parents. And there are an estimated 1,250,000 divorced each year, meaning that a large amount of kids will endure divorce at some point during their youth. So since divorce is so prevalent, it is imperative to understand the effects that divorce has on children both immediately and long-term, according to Asian G Law Firm. When a, couple starts to under, when a couple starts to figure out that their marriage isn't going to work, of course they think about their kids. But are they aware of the effects that divorce has on not only children, but also themselves and friends and family? In my speech, we'll go over the long-term and short-term effects that divorce has on the couple, the kids, and the friends and family. Coping with the emotions of a divorce can be demanding. Men and women both experience the same emotions, but in different ways. Women sometimes appear to adjust to the divorce better than men. And in some studies, it shows that women are often more likely to initiate the divorce. With women who initiate the divorce, they're more likely to experience a sense of relief and independence. Women are also more probable to have a high self-esteem after a divorce. Males often rely on social support from their friends when a marriage comes to an end. Socially, men and women experience their emotions in their own way. Losing a partner can make this entire process, but especially the social process, lonely. Next to the couple is the children that are affected the most. Though divorce affects all children to some degree. Children experience superior responsibilities and often feel neglected. When a divorce occurs, it is possible that parents can experience a decline in their parental responsibilities. According to the article, a prospective study of divorce and parent-child relationships published in the Journal of Marriage and Family by Paul Aramato and Ellen Booth. Children can experience increased feelings of abandonment when the non-custodial parent disengages from his or her children. It is crucial to have for the parent to have a nurturing parent-child relationship. This will increase the child's long-term development. In some studies, it shows that the gender of the custodial parent plays a role in defining the long-term development of the children. There are several short-term effects on children from divorce. According to Linda Jacobs, featured columnist for Divorce Moms in her article, Possible Short-Term Negative Effects on Children of Divorce, published November 16, 2013, some specific short-term effects on divorce are perceived parental loss, economic hardship, lower academic achievement, increased dependency, to name a few. Several of these can harmfully affect the long-term development of the children. The intensity and longevity of the problems are determined by positive post-divorce adjustment. Examples of positive post-divorce adjustments are parental ability to resolve post-divorce conflict and anger, ability of the custodial parent to resume the parenting role, and the ability of the children to find and use support systems. Long-term effects on children are often those short-term effects that go unrecognized. Amato and Booth, in their previously mentioned article, said that research suggests that problematic parent-child relations associated with divorce persist throughout the life course. There is also the sleeper effect. This is when a child recovers rather quickly succeeding in divorce, but denied feelings at a subconscious level may rise at a point later in life. The sleeper effect is basically a delayed reaction. There are many emotional damages such as fear of betrayal, rising anxiety, and low life satisfaction, and more. But there's also a chance of deteriorating physical health. This is more of a risk in children of divorced families than it is in intact families. Socially, children of divorce have a decrease in the ability to create and maintain compassionate friendships and also dating relationships. One study shows that daughters of divorce are more likely to marry and have children at a younger age give birth before marriage and divorce later in life. Whose friend is whose? 
This is a question often asked by the friends of divorcing couples. Though the divorcing couple may expect the friends to rally behind one or the other, the friends often don't find this so easy. The friends of a divorcing couple may take themselves out of the equation completely to save all the drama. The family of the divorcing couple may often think that divorce is not the right choice, especially if the family comes from a religious background. They may think that it's betraying their beliefs. Although the entire process is complicated and confusing, the friends, and the friends of the divorcing couple are very worried about them. The friends of the divorcing couple and the families may get together and try to put the couple back together, but this is only damaging it worse. Many people don't understand that, but only 42% of the couples that try that get back together. Kinsley is now flourishing. She is doing great. Although the divorce started out rocky, her life is wonderful. She has a little brother and a little sister, and she couldn't be happier. Although divorces often end bad, not all of them end that way. The effects talked about in my speech aren't always the case, but all that a single person can do to help the person going through a divorce is be there for them and let them know that they aren't alone in this process.